Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, you know, we just had our Saturate Saturday and it was a huge blessing. We took a team of about 50, uh, about 50 folks over to Kingwood High School and uh, we went and we served the teachers there. We served the families and students that were coming for orientation and it was just, it was a ton of fun. Uh, we got to go out there, we got to help um, show folks where to go. We got to help serve teachers through uh, uh, providing school supplies for them and some other gifts. We got to um, also feed some families through a food truck that we provided and just a ton of other stuff. And uh, it was really, really great. Um, but you know, every time that we do a Saturate Saturday, um, inevitably, I've always been asked the same question at least once or twice uh, throughout the day. And that's, you know, why are you guys here? Why are you doing what you're doing? And, you know, that happened again uh, this past Saturate Saturday. You know, a man came up while we were serving at the food truck and he said, you know, this is free? You know, what? why are you guys doing this? Why are you here? You know, it's a good question. You know, why, why, are we, why are we there? It's unusual for somebody to give you something free. It's unusual for somebody to come and to, to serve you, right? To give up time and, and, uh, and to go out of their way to, to help you out. Um, but we get asked this question all the time. Everywhere we go, everywhere we serve, we get asked this, this same question. Why are you here? You know, I can think of one of our trips uh, where we were serving in Central Asia. We were, we were out in the city and, and, and we were, you know, visiting with folks and we were sharing with them about Christ. And, you know, one of the, the people that, you know, they came up and they, they asked like, you're an American, why are you here? <laughs> why are you, you know, why would you come to this place? You know, Americans, they'll come to our country or they'll never come all the way out here to where we live. Um, and it just blows their mind that we would come there. And so we get to share with them about the love of God, right? That's, that's why we are there. And we get asked this, you know, in every country, it's the same. Why are you here? You know, and as I'm, as I'm thinking through that question, you know, why, you know, why are we here? You know, I, th I think of a, a, a person that we see in the Bible, um, this character of, of Eutychus. And maybe you remember reading about Eutychus in, in Acts. Um, but Paul, right, Paul was, was, was preaching and teaching in the city of Troas. And uh, the Bible tells us that as Paul was going on and on, he kept going, he was teaching, and, they said he, and he said, oh, and he went further still into the night he was teaching. And uh, as he was teaching, um, there was a young man there uh, named Eutychus, and he fell asleep by the window. And as Paul was preaching and he was sleeping, Eutychus fell out of the window and they were on the third floor and he fell down and he died. Um, and, you know, well, the, the good news is Paul, you know, went over and, and, and uh, Eutychus was raised to life by the power of the Spirit, right? And it was a miracle. It was amazing. Um, but it really leaves you wondering, you know, Eutychus, like, if you're going to fall asleep, why were you there in the first place? You know, you probably have a bed back home. Why'd you come all this way if you're not going to actually pay attention? Uh, to what Paul has to say, to these words he has to say. You're just going to be there and fall asleep. Um, and for him, right, uh, it was a grave mistake. But what about you? Have you asked yourself that question? You know, why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you in Kingwood? Why has God put you here in Kingwood? Why are you at Woodridge? You know, this is a, this is a question that we have to ask ourselves. Because it's easy for us to, to look at Eutychus and to kind of, you know, make fun of him a little bit and joke around and go, man, like, he, he totally missed the point. But are we missing the point? Do we know why we're where we're at? But it's an important question. Because if you're a believer, you should have an answer that looks different than the world's answer. You know, your neighbor might have a different answer about why they're here in Kingwood than, than you do. Oh, it's for my job, or I came here for family, or, you know, there's, there's really nice houses here in Kingwood. And those are all good things, right? But for us as believers, we can't just walk aimlessly through this life, right? We have been put where we're, we're put in our lives for a reason. God put us here for a reason. And so we have to be able to respond to that question, why are we here, right, with an with an answer that makes sense um, as believers. But God put you here for a reason, right? And it wasn't just to fall asleep, right? Are you coasting through life, right? Why are you here in this church? Is it just so you can come and sit in a chair on Sunday and uh, hear the words of Jeremy? And I'm, 
I'll tell you this, I've definitely seen some people fall asleep at our church before. I'm not gonna name any names, but um, you know, maybe it was a long night uh, that Saturday night beforehand. We'll just attribute it to that, but honestly, let's ask ourselves, what is it that is driving us? What is the purpose that we have for being where we're at, for being in this church family, for being in this community? And if you don't answer that question, you're just gonna keep wandering aimlessly through this life without a purpose. But God tells us, don't miss the point. You are here for a reason. I have placed you here. Maybe it's to minister to those who are living around you. Maybe it's to minister to your, your neighbors, those who are struggling to find answers right now. Those who, who have never heard the gospel, right? God has put you here for a reason. So that's my challenge for you this week. If you need to wake up, right, just like Eutychus, do it. Wake up, look around, pray that God would show you why it is that he has placed you here. And so that way you can begin to serve him faithfully. You can begin, right, to, to live out that call that he's placed in your life. You know, he's not calling everybody to go and, and, and to go, you know, live overseas and to become a full-time missionary, but he is calling you to serve obediently where you're at. And I know we talk about this all the time. Um, but it's because it's, it's at the core of the gospel. We should be serving. We should be living our lives obediently to what God has called us to. So whether, that's, um, whether that is overseas or whether that's with us on a saturated Saturday, um, serve with us, serve your neighbors, and live the life that God has called you to live. Why are you here?